Hi, I'm Linda from Poolside Christchurch and today I'd like to show you a couple of options for cleaning grit and dirt that gets in the bottom of your spa pool out. It's really difficult to do without some piece of uh, machinery at all, equipment and there are a couple of little options around if you're looking for something. So this is the first uh, product I'd like to show you. It is a manual vacuum. It's got this cylinder in here which is clear. It's just simply still got its instructions on the inside. Uh, it has a little, little non-return valve in the end and the way this works is on the very end of the pole there's a hole in there. So the way to use it is you put your finger over the end of the pole while the cleaner is out of the spa pole. You put it into the spa pole, take your finger off the end. When you do that, all the air that's in the cylinder here is trying to escape out the far end of the pole. So what that creates is suction coming up from the bottom of the cleaner. So the finger comes off the end, the air rushes out, it's drawing water in up off the bottom of your pool and the debris gets trapped into the cylinder here. There's a little non-return valve on the end so any debris that comes back in here doesn't flow back out again. So it works really well and it's a really simple concept. The downside with it is that you have to keep doing it over and over again to cover the bottom of your pool. So as soon as all the air has rushed out of the chamber and it's full of water, you have to lift this out of the pool, let the water drain back out. Only the water will come out because it has got the non-return valve in here. So the water comes back out, any debris stays in here. Once the water's all out, it's just got air in it, you put your finger over the hole on the end again, put the tool back into the spa pool, take your finger off, drag it across the bottom, suck up any debris, run out of air, pull it back out, water drains out, debris stays in, finger back on the end, pull it back in, take your finger off, vacuum again. You get the idea? Quite simple. Works really, really well. Uh, we've sold lots and lots of these over the years. Um, only issue is if you leave them out in the sun or out in a lot of weather, that will slowly de deteriorate and you may need to replace some parts. But luckily you can still at the moment anyway, get little spare parts if you need them. So that is the spa vac. that's what that guy's called. Quite a good little tool and all manual, very little to go wrong with it. The other option, not much of a price difference between the two, is the modern version of that, which is one of these guys. Open up the end here and you'll see batteries not included, but this is a automatic version of what you were looking at a minute ago. This one I really like. Uh, it's as simple as flicking the button, flicking the switch, and away goes the little motor, which is down the end here. Uh, it is a submersible pump, essentially, so this needs to be in the water when you turn it on. So it's got a smaller cylinder down the end here, but really you don't get a lot of dirt in a spa pool. If you're filling up more than this, you've got bigger issues. Um, it has a little non-return valve at the bottom here as, as well, so debris comes in, it can't go back out, it's only the water that will fall back out the end. These guys here, it is as simple as flicking the switch, turning it on, as long as this end, this piece here, is underwater, and you just keep it in the bottom of the spa pool, cleaning up everywhere you want to go, any spots you can see, when you've got everything you want, turn it off while it's still underwater, lift it back up, the water drains out, your debris is trapped in the middle there. So this guy is called a Wanda. Downside with this, obviously, uses batteries. So uh, you could come along and find that the batteries are flat and it's not gonna work by putting your finger over the end and using it. So batteries are consumable. And again, it's got a little motor in it. So there's more to go wrong with something like this than uh, with the Sparvac that I showed you. But I'm a little bit lazy, and certainly for our technicians when they're working out in the field on clients' pools, I prefer them to have one of these because it's much, much faster. And really, they're actually quite a cool little tool. So if you're struggling with keeping your spa pool spotless and clean, or you're getting a bit tired of sitting down and finding a wee bit of grit, grit on uh, your seat, consider using a tool like this. 
prevention, however, is the best cure. So if you can get people to wash their feet off before they get in the spa pool, ideally have a shower before they get in. That's good for so much more than just the dirt and grit on the seats. Uh, but if you can control what's going into your spa pool off the human body, then uh, it will make your life a lot easier. There's only so much you can do about what comes in on the on the breeze and really, aside from putting your spa pool indoors, there's no way really to control that. So that's it. A couple of options for you to think about if you're having trouble with keeping dirt out of your pool or getting dirt out of your pool. Thanks.